And we're going to slide right into it this time. Uh, this is Wack Nicholson. This is Western Kabuki. I am here joined by some of my best friends in the world. We're going to start talking to Mike. We're going to talk to the producer first. Alex, how are you doing? Well, I was muted, so it took me a minute to get he there, but I'm doing, great. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Hell yeah, man. Uh, Juniper, how about you? How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Wonderful. Caleb? I'm doing pretty good. No complaints. Yeah. Let's fucking go, bro. Uh, today, we are joined very happily by YouTuber and eminent shit poster and making some of my personal favorite uh, uh, right wing uh, AI generated content. Uh, Tall Bart, Mr. Bart, how are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Yes, I'm so glad that you're here because we are talking. We're doing another survey of a villain. And um, <clears throat> before we started recording, I had mentioned that uh, the quartering is a very different sort of beast than Sneeko was. Um, but today we are going to <laughs> talk about the quartering. I I, I want to say we're not going to be nice to him. Uh, I want to say something <laughs> nice about him first, though. Um, <laughs> is there anything nice to say about him? Really? Yeah, because I watched a lot of fucking Sneeko content, <laughs> so I can tell you there is there is something nice to say about the quartering, which is that his voice is soothing and his content is not grating. You can, it goes down so smooth. Quartering content goes down so smooth, especially if you don't think critically a, a, about it, because Lord knows he has not. Uh, he is... <laughs> a he's a dullard he's he's a world-class dunce and we are talking about the youtuber a uh, news youtuber the quartering uh who as of like 15 minutes ago uploaded a video today um <laughs> d uh caleb did you get to catch the uh the tony the tiger went woke video that just got posted <laughs> god oh, damn no. it dude i wanted to i was running <laughs> I, I didn't get to it I can't believe that that's like a real thing that's going on right now is the the Tony the Tiger Dylan Mulvaney uh, going woke shit that is I, know. I don't know this is like just so stupid it's, it's, they are so scared they're like raiding their own pantries like is, this, <laughs> is, is my ketchup gonna make me gay like what are we doing here <laughs> Dylan Mulvaney like they follow Dylan Mulvaney more than any of her fans dude they want to know where she is at all times yeah I, and I, if I, she has made anything woke like I, I feel like I can speak for all all of us in here right now. None of us would have known who Dylan Mulvaney is if it wasn't for these maniacs. Never. Like we, everything we have learned about Dylan Mulvaney is against our will, and she's trans. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really like a TikToker, and that's like no. her whole thing. Or like Instagram yeah. is it Instagram that she does? That's like I her deal. I genuinely don't know. I don't use either of those platforms. Bart, are you on any other platforms, or are you a Twitter goblin like us? Uh, I, I used to be a Twitter exclusive. I sort of branched out ever since Twitter started sort of going down the shitter. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I've migrated over to YouTube. That's sort of my home base now. Nice. Nice. Didn't you get like, I, I remember you were posting stuff. Didn't you get like suspended or like a video taken down at some point? Like you, you were like making like right or like you, you were like a Jordan Peterson edit that got taken down. Right. Yes. It was a uh, Prager U edit, actually. It was, okay. uh, yeah, that was the most recent one. I've had two videos taken down so far. Um, you know, they're going after me. You know, the walls are closing in. <laughs> <laughs> is it like them reporting you or is it just YouTube's guidelines kind of taking a shit on you? Well, I believe that the first one was YouTube's guidelines. I made a joke uh, with Candace Owens that I won't repeat. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. But the second time with the Prager U video, there really was nothing that I could say, uh, directly violated YouTube's guidelines. And so I suspect that it was just Prager himself. Uh, well, I have, I have a proposal for you. Did you ever, have you, have you considered going on Twitter, posting your videos like Tucker Carlson on the most free speech platform of all time for no benefit of your, of your own? <laughs> <laughs> if they're longer than two minutes, you have to have a uh, Twitter Blue account. So. Oh, shit. Okay, well, <laughs> the dream's dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's uh, uh, you know, I, I, I don't complain about uh, getting my videos taken down or getting demonetized. I feel like I would be sort of a hypocrite if I did, because I can't act like I don't know some of the stuff I'm making these people say. <laughs> is completely outrageous and completely goes against ethical and moral guidelines. And so <laughs> that's why I don't do it because I'm yeah, like, yeah, but if, have you if, considered uh, <laughs> that uh, the phrase uh, 
Jordan Peterson saying, hell yeah, I'll drink the fucking piss has been stuck in my head ever since the first time I heard it. You thought about that. Right. No, and that's that's why I continue to do it. Um, <laughs> no, it's it, it's honestly like a, a huge, like, uh, it's it's the biggest thank you I can get when people comment on my videos something like, you know, I don't know who Penis Prager's real name is or <laughs> like I didn't know that Jordan Peterson sounds, you know, like a deflating helium balloon um, because it, you know, it makes me happy that the next time that they bump into Jordan Peterson and, you know, on just somewhere on the Web, their first thought is going to be one of my videos. And I think that's just beautiful. I think that's... <laughs> Yeah. That is amazing. You're, you're watching all of these videos for the benefit of, of the people. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You're, a, you're a sin eater. You are consuming the evils of the world for us. I think I said that on the show already, but that's I'm, I'm, I'm standing by it. Uh, Bart, are you familiar with a gentleman by the name of Jeremy Hambly? I was not aware of Jeremy Hambly until a few days ago when I was told <laughs> that we would be discussing him today. Um, and, uh, I've gone deliberately out of my way to just not learn any information about it. I'm just going to be a complete version to this topic. (laughs) It's a good way to do some of these. Really? It really is. Hopefully this guy is, uh, well, this guy will provide some content for you. I think like after this, if you look into him and what you learn tonight, uh, but I also think that it's like very telling of Jeremy, uh, the quartering, that you specifically do right wing like AI edits and all that stuff. And you never heard of him. This man is so <laughs> fucking funny because he's like a journeyman chud. I don't know. Like, what do you call a guy like this? He's been grinding for years, but he has no respect. And although his audience has grown, <laughs> he's still not one of the, he's not one of the boys. Even the people that like listen to him don't actually respect him, which is very funny. <laughs> it's, it's the best part about him. Um, I, I um I made a tweet that I think is actually very relevant to Jeremy. Um and it is I realize you guys can all see that I'm doing this as while I'm talking. <laughs> um <laughs> it is uh that every job has like a person that has worked there for like 17 years and has never been promoted and everyone <laughs> at the job knows why they haven't been promoted. Um and that is jeremy he is he reminds me of this woman i used to work with it was attempt to hire job and she had been attempt for three years <laughs> oh, oh my god oh yikes <laughs> <laughs> and she um she was just she was so good at not getting fired and so bad at any other <laughs> part of the job <laughs> <laughs> no for real though like the quartering reminds me of and i mean it's partially because what of what he is like the right wing sort of like just asking questions type person of like the the like mid 2010s yes yeah, so like, he's like he's gamer kind of a relative, guy that's never yeah. changed yeah like gamer he's a gamer gay, like gay people, guy who didn't become a nazi and it's like what are you doing bro yeah <laughs> you, and like, he actually <laughs> we'll get into this in a bit but he actually was objectively like denounced by and rejected by the Nazis. Like he tried to get it. We'll get into it later, but an article in the daily stormer and they were like, no man, like, no, you're not. No, <laughs> you're not one of us. That's yeah. so funny. You're not one of us, they have bro. no reason to turn him down other than yeah. who he is as a person. That's yeah. so funny. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Even the Nazis don't want you, bro. They want (laughs) pedophiles. They don't want you, though, my guy. (laughs) I'm picking up that this guy is not well-liked by anybody. But so he's really not. The he's thing really is, not. is that he has like a million and a half subscribers on YouTube, but he's had a million and a half for a very long time. Mm. And he, go read the comments and stuff. Like these are people that are just like, because <laughs> like you said, whack, it goes down smooth. They tenuously agree with him, but like they're mean to him. And like in some of the, his like live Twitch, like the, the one where he will get to that later, of course, too, I'm kind of jumping ahead, but the most famous one where he peed down the 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 floor drain of his basement. Like if you watch the video, the comments are not nice to him. They're making fun of him. Like he doesn't. He has this audience, but they don't like. He's like they don't 
give him money. They don't like respect him. It's just, I don't know. It's he is Sisyphus of the right wing. He's, he's like he, he a good comparison for people who are aware. He's like the DSP gaming of like the right wing sphere. I don't know if that reference means anything to any of you. Completely no, no, no. But a certain, yeah. a, per, a certain type of person listening will be like, Oh hell yeah. And agree <laughs> with me. <laughs> so I'm very glad that I'm very glad Bart that you don't know a lot about him because the order in which I laid out these slides is really, really schizophrenic. So <laughs> It is. We are not. I wanted to start at the beginning, but he he had like four YouTube channels. He ended up selling them in order to make the quartering. He makes news videos. He posts literally five times a day, five days a week, sometimes six. um, And he just makes videos. So we're going to start with two black dads, one white dad of unknown sexuality. Um, Yes. This is the funniest. (laughs) This is all you need to know about this guy. The first this is we're. Starting off in a great place. <laughs> this is actually because I just looked up the quartering and I ignored all the stuff that I already knew about that he had banned, been banned from Magic the Gathering and that he doesn't not like Hitler. <laughs> and, I, and the first thing I found was that he has two gay black dads and one white dad of unknown sexuality. Uh, That's insane. Three dads total, two gay black dads and one, one white dad that may or may not be gay. Yes. That's correct. <laughs> okay. uh, so I would like to hear. I would like to hear Caleb explain how this. Uh, okay. How, how the situation has come about. So first of all, there is no proof or even evidence of of the two gay black dads. Um, but what, the way that this started was like uh, he kept getting owned because he kept saying like racist and like um, you know homophobic stuff. That's like his kind of his brand, and like he would he would quote tweet people calling him like a homophobe or like a, a racist, be like, uh, actually idiot. I have a black dad. And then it was, uh, <laughs> I have a gay black dad. And then I have two gay black dads. And then like, <laughs> it's just, it was so funny. Cause he was used this as like a shield. And then all of a sudden the, the number and like the kind of dad and the amount would change. Like another <laughs> gay black dad hit the North tower, you know? And then he got caught, um, because years ago he'd posted a picture of his, white dad uh that you want to say you want to say real dad you want to say real dad but the fact of the matter is he has not retracted that he has two black gay dads he deleted all the (laughs) tweets but he never addressed it again so that's another common thing you'll see is he scrubs all the stuff he's constantly deleting tweets and videos and it's very funny um but he he kind of addressed it at first was like well my you know um my gay dad white dad had two gay black dad boyfriends or i don't (laughs) you know this is all bullshit right like this is all completely made up he's to me what it sounds like he's doing is he's like he's he's doing the classic i'm my my dad works at xbox and and we're gonna suspend you we're gonna ban you yeah i just need to make sure we had tone indicators (laughs) (laughs) um yeah it's it's a funny thing because he actually hasn't officially said that that guy in the picture so basically what happened his like niece went out with his dad and was like my niece got some good grandpa time and it was a picture of this white guy at the buzz lightyear uh, uh ride at disney world and then it's like what what about the two gay black dads and then uh somebody like <laughs> made this whole thread about all the different times he had uh, mentioned that he had a black dad, a gay dad, a black gay dad, two black gay dads, and he, so many gay dads. <laughs> Most and, gay dads I've yeah, ever heard. I, I I appreciate like the the energy that he's that he's going at with this bit, but he needs to go further. I mean, he needs to say that he was sired by. You know, an entire mariachi band and that is great grandparents. <laughs> Eric, or Eric something Cartman like style. We need to find out yeah. that his dad is his mom and that he has two gay black dads for real. Uh, the, the, yeah, he, he. I am like nervous because he's not litigious as far as I've seen, but. He does pay attention to his critics, and Sneeko never responded to us. But Sneeko has other things going on, and Jeremy mm. does not. So. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, I think that's very clear because so, so for context, the reason why why we're I think talking about the quartering is I I kind of got into like a little like beef with him. Mm-hmm. What, what was that like a couple days ago? And like most people, like Matt Walsh types, like Jordan Peterson, don't typically get into like 
quote tweet battles. But Jeremy, uh, that's the quartering. That's like what he does on Twitter. Is but he's just not. Like, he's not yeah. even good at it. Like <laughs> no, Jack Posobiec does it too. Stephen Crowder does it too. They both do it way better, and they pick <laughs> way better targets than you, Juniper. What was he thinking? <laughs> Nobody likes. I don't him. know. Yeah, and it was very clear by. Uh, I, I hate to be that person that's like I ratioed them, but like if you ratioed I ratioed the dog shit out of them like five <laughs> times though. So yeah, live that yeah. one up. <laughs> sure, but no, yeah, he was. He's not good at it. No one really likes him. It's very obvious. And I, my favorite thing about the quartering is this little logo that he's made for his face because it evokes like an like operator who sells bourbon and cigars. It looks <laughs> like it looks like a big badass beardo who's ready to get shit handled, and then you see him and it's like, oh lord, <laughs> he's not black, right? He has no, he's two- white. Okay, yeah, he's white. He's a white guy who wears uh, kind of like uh, half wireframe glasses, and he's do- he he does his videos in his basement. And behind him are like Lego Star Wars and all of his consoles and fucking magic cards. Funko he has, like, pops this, like, sh- and all Funko that shit. pops. Like he has a shrine to himself, basically behind him. Like um, when we when we said he's like a gamergate type dude, he, like literally, like we weren't. He's exaggerating. very concerned yeah. about ethics and games journalism. That's so and, great. Yeah. And then he has <laughs> yeah. this little, like, a, one of those signs where you can put letters on for, like, I don't know, like 1990s concession stands or something. Um, that is like, it just says, uh, get go, go woke or get woke, go broke or whatever on top of like all these like Funko Pops and shit. It, th- Which he is, his big, fat, stupid fucking head is normally in the way, but when he went yeah. to piss in the drain, it was right in the middle of the <laughs> yeah. screen. Yeah. You know, you guys are going pretty hard on this guy. I just found out about it. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to be neutral. I'm just going to wait. Yeah. See. I would like to hear you play devil's advocate on this guy without, yeah, any, okay. without any further information. Everybody deserves a public defense. <laughs> yeah yeah maybe maybe by the end of this you'll be on his side so bart bart what are you hearing about him what do you think about about what we've said about quartering so far well this is a classic example of let people enjoy things okay yeah <laughs> so yeah just because somebody you know has a bunch of funko pops loves star wars you know you can't extrapolate to that any of their political beliefs you know And from what you've told me, you know, his political beliefs, you know, are contentious, but, you know. (laughs) And he's from a progressive family. Do we believe believe in free speech or don't we? Well, let's check out the uh, when he addressed the two gay black dads controversy. Let's check out the thumbnail he used. It was really tasteful. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) The video was entitled. So Twitter went after my family. And then he made a thumbnail in which his real father on the Buzz Lightyear ride is blasting cum onto a gay black model from the Buzz Lightyear ride gun. And there's another black gay model on the screen as well. And the title says, My Gay Black Dads. But again, the the title of the video is actually, well, dot, 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 Twitter went after my family. (laughs) (laughs) How have I never seen this image before? This is remarkable. Oh so this is art this is art i hope honestly. you guys understand that like a lot of the um a lot of the aesthetics that i'm taking for this slideshow and again i i told you guys i'll tell the audience as well what i'm showing them is an unfinished product there will be a finished slideshow that y'all get to enjoy and i'll make it as upsetting and off-putting as possible <laughs> uh which speaking of which we haven't even said we should have said at the top uh the upsetting and off-putting artwork should be gone soon it takes a while to update but uh <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, for for our podcast. Yes, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got uh, we got new art. Um, uh, it's uh, so beautiful. It is gorgeous. It's a uh, person's head exploding with the name of our uh, podcast on it, and I think that that is apt. Um, I think that that is a, a good way to. Uh, My mind is blown. Honestly, thanks, man. I appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, so. Bart, I would love to hear you defend uh, the quitting Twitter saga. <laughs> but before we uh, go into the quitting Twitter saga, uh, I would like to hear, or, or as we go into the quitting Twitter saga, uh, Caleb, uh, what happened when the quartering tried to quit Twitter? Uh, he did what most of us do, and he lasted about four days. <laughs> That's generous. That's generous. You think he lasted four days? Because <laughs> he was. I respect that, though. He well, this is the thing. He didn't post 
Well, he got uh, what was her name? Uh, uh, his assistant, Maggie. Was Ma- I have it yet. on the screen right there? We're going to talk oh, about sorry, Maggie in a second. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hell yes, God yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but the the really strange thing is that like he kept posting like immediately. That's classic. The day of even. <laughs> yeah, he started posting immediately, but it was just um, like, like links YouTube to his videos. Yeah, 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 just his like advertisements. But um, yeah, he he then started tweeting like four days later and then when people were like and this is classic quartering this is what we're going to see from the quartering a lot um he was lying well he was lying and then he got caught lying and then he played the victim when somebody called him out and then he moved on and pretend like it didn't happen uh and he just uh that's his favorite thing to do. If you tell the quartering that he has to stop playing the victim, he'll just take his own <laughs> life and prove you wrong. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Caleb, Damn. is Maggie real? Maggie is real in my heart. Uh, I actually <laughs> found I, I found two accounts that I believe are quartering alts in my research. One was for Maggie and one was for his wife that he just... The the accounts happened to s- just go silent right after that saga ended, which is very funny to me. Uh, <laughs> so yes, there was a um, that I don't think ever got. There was a couple replies on it that was, was ostensibly Maggie, or I don't know if it just just didn't gain traction. And he Jeremy said fuck it and just moved on from it like he is wont to do. Um, there was a Maggie Twitter account, and it's very funny to see because again, it just he he made this whole thing about how. Well, uh, Maggie said, this is Maggie saying, oh, I'm a single mom. Jeremy graciously, the word that she used, graciously hired me a single mom to run his, his socials for him while he's on break or whatever. <laughs> and um, yeah, and then, uh, you know, however long it was, he fired this poor single mother. So I believe that she's real because well, he fired her. the woke left made him fire this poor single mother. <laughs> and it's really unfair to treat such a magnanimous person as Jeremy. Uh, so so rudely when he gave this this graciously gave graciously single, was the word so fucking funny graciously gave this single mother a job. <laughs> this is how he plays the victim. You know he lies and then he lies again and now he is he's flipped it back on you. Like, um, this this guy is making Allison Gill look like a Girl Scout dude. <laughs> well, Allison Gill, Allison Gill, like did real crimes. Um, and this is the funny thing about the quartering um, that I didn't really put in the slideshow or anything. But like, I see people calling him a grifter. Like, he makes bad content and he makes a fucking lot of it, and that's going to get you some money at some point. And I don't think that's like a grift. I just think that do you, do you have to be like premeditated to be a grifter? You know. Like, oh, is it, oh, is that's it like, an interesting question. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you do. There's there's right? this like I, there's this argument I hear so many times about like conservative pundits that they're just doing it for the money, right? Um, but you know, there's another argument that I hear that they just truly do believe those things. You find the idiot, the one in a million idiot, who's willing to share their, you know beliefs in this public forum and uh you just pour money into that person put a camera in front of them you know and so they're not necessarily doing it for the money i think matt walsh is like that you know but it sounds like this guy i mean is just incompetently waiting his way i don't know he's not skilled enough to grift yeah the big difference between matt walsh and the quartering is that matt walsh looks like shit and then somebody <laughs> told him to grow out a beard, and now he looks a lot less like shit. And he got he got a uh, a uh, 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 what the fuck? Probably this? a uh, hair uh, transplant. Yeah, I was gonna say pro. I think so. I was gonna say pro. I think he yeah. definitely got a hair transplant. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because you look at like some, it's like a very like Elon Musk type situation where it's like you look at all the photos of of him from like fifteen years ago, and it's like oh. He's like losing his hair yeah. already. And yeah. then you look at the new photos, and it's like, okay, he absolutely had some shit done. Yeah. Like this say what you com- want about Matt Walsh, but he he looks put together. Yeah. That's the thing, is that Matt Walsh was willing to do the work to look put together and like 
talk about some stuff that's normal, you know, like Matt Walsh, all these guys, Matt Walsh, Ben Shapiro, Stephen Crowder, they work because you couldn't possibly disagree with everything they say. You know, occasionally they will be like, uh, uh, I mean, Hillary Clinton is a good example. They all hate Hillary Clinton, right? And so it's like, well, yeah, I mean, she's not good, but they turn their, like, that's a normal opinion to have, to hate Hillary Clinton, and they turn it up to yeah. such a degree that it's like, why are you, like, talking about this so much? And they'll be like, you you, you don't think she's... Well, they all position themselves as, like, reasonable people. It's that's like, the thing. In reality. That's the yeah. thing. Um, but with with Jeremy's uh, ongoing, like, uh, quitting Twitter... Well, not ongoing. Jeremy but, like, made 60, 60, 60 videos um, about Alison Brie. Are you thinking of Brie Larson? Brie Larson, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> but no, yeah, like she, uh, Brie Brie Larson had like a big moment in like right wing, and still does to an extent, where like right wingers will like freak the fuck out over her. Well, did well, you guys? Is- did any of you guys see his uh, his Brie shed? No, <sighs> he his has Brie shed. All the, he what took all that? the money. This is fucking real, by the way. He took all the money that he made off of those videos and bought a shed that he calls his Brie shed. The, w- no, that's serial killer stuff. Serial killer <laughs> shit, and it's even worse when, like, right around that same time, there was some movie that she was in where she like gets captured and held and tortured in some sort of shed that looked vaguely similar to the one that he bought. It's even oh, worse. I saw that movie. It's yeah. even worse for another reason, which is that he bought the shed because he pissed in the basement. He <laughs> pissed in the basement because he was mad at his wife. He was mad at his wife because she went out to get pizza without him. And (laughs) because he was mad that she went to get pizza without him and his recording studio was in the basement, he pissed inside of his own recording studio to get back at his wife. Like a dog. (laughs) Yeah. You leave for too long. And Mm -hmm. my guess is that his wife hates when he pees in the basement. (laughs) <laughs> so <laughs> she made him get a shed and then he named it after Brie Larson because he was going fucking ham on Brie Larson on his YouTube channel and he was like Brie Larson paid for this shed and it's like nah dog your my wife my bitch wife sure didn't <laughs> your wife paid for that shed and she's paying every fucking day Jeremy she's paying every day I don't think there's so, he's not still married is he Jesus Christ I was I was gonna say I'll, I'll be honest like if him finding if finding out he had a wife is like the most shocking check thing this out so far not only did he have a we don't know last time someone asked him this that I saw um he said uh, he quote tweeted it and said, "I'm married to my work with a smiley face," which to me is like a, a very I uh, my wife left me thing to say. Um, yeah. So I don't know, but what I do know is I've seen photos of his wife or ex wife, and she's a she's uh, she's very pretty. B she's a pilot, so when she went to go get pizza, she left in a plane to go get pizza in a plane that he could not fit inside, which is a real thing. Look it up. Oh my and fucking oh no. God. No way. I did not know that. <laughs> yes. This is crucial context. Uh, the plane is too small for the both of them. Uh, she went to go get pizza, left him there. That was where that tweet came uh, where my, uh, my wife's cab, uh, I could, she got, she broke down and she had to go get her tools in the cab, AKA I get to play more video games all night or something like that. <laughs> um, oh, this so is fucking... pretty. And then she also has a good job. She works as like a, um, uh, in some sort of science lab where she does like, she puts like, uh, microbiomes and slides or something like that. Like oh, all, shit, by all cool. accounts, shit, like she's cool yeah. and normal. You know what I mean? Yeah. She sounds so normal. Like. Probably from an upper middle class white family who was like, "Oh, there they are, they together." I got yeah. the picture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like probably she's from like an she's upper middle class, job. like yeah, white family. She's like, "I'm gonna learn to fly a plane. Fuck it, I can do this thing," and that's like cool. And she's like, "I'm gonna like read." Looking, looking at this picture, they're like the most typical Midwestern yeah. family yes. of all time. Yeah. They like both look like yeah. kind of normal for that's the Midwest. Th- so like this <laughs> level of discrepancy between like a pretty wife and a goblin husband is like Wisconsin. <laughs> You know, yeah, <laughs> it's got me. It's got me thinking. I mean, was was this during a normal time? That picture. I it mean, was. the one I had up. Yeah, 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 it was. So that was, would I think he, before he was like, you know, the quartering or whatever. If the quartering just didn't have, uh, you know, internet access, 
<laughs> pre let's say 2014 would he still be the man that he is today? no certainly not certainly not uh he, no? and i think that this is that goes for a lot of these like he would still be people. married i think so wow. so that 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 guy is like so here's here's the thing is like i i have a lot of parallels i think between myself and him in a way where like i see him especially before he went down the dark path of like this like normal, just completely normy, like probably went on a dinner date at the Olive Garden with his wife and then saw one of the fucking Minions movies or whatever. <laughs> like just mm-hmm. a completely basic normal man. Like he and I were the same person at one point and then like lightning struck and we split into two and he went one way and I went <laughs> the other. Like mm-hmm. I know he's a couple years older than me, but bear with me. Like that's what I happened. had that same sens- sensation watching him actually. Uh, I... He's just like me for real, uh, but in <laughs> like a really dark timeline. He's like, your Republican doppelganger. Like, where something like, went really damn. poorly and I can't yeah. like <laughs> regulate my own emotions or think through problems <laughs> yeah, coherently or realize that alcohol is not the solution to my stress. These are <laughs> nor are Funko Pops. <laughs> there is a version of me that is Jeremy Hambly, without a doubt, out in the universe. He is. I think we all have. We all have a Jeremy Hambly. Yeah, in the a, multiverse, we yeah, all have absolutely. our own Jeremy. He Hambly, is a dude. dark <laughs> reminder of how bad this could go, and I think that that is. <laughs> I think that's valuable. Uh-huh. Uh, I appreciate D- Jeremy braver than the troops. Thank you for your service. Uh, but. <laughs> I, I do want to ask because being the worst guy alive does does weigh on a person. And uh Jeremy tends to uh self medicate for mm, those yeah, issues. Does. Um this led this to This is him. like a less funny part, kind of a not really funny. Well, like, I, p- you know, pissing you say in the that, drink is funny, but you say that, but <laughs> it's like if Jeremy is an alcoholic, he is posting six videos a day. And at some point, somebody has to, like, say something. And I think it's worth saying, not as an insult, and this is, a like, a problem, right? Is that everybody who, like, makes content about Jeremy either thinks he's brilliant and they're 12 years old or they're making fun of him like keemstar even made fun of him he had a beef keemstar with makes keemstar. fun of him all the time and keemstar actually gets like good insults on this guy it's the, if, sad if, if keemstar can get one off on you you've really gone pretty poorly yeah at, that's at some point that's pretty harrowing Bosch, uh, that's pretty Bosch that's beat harrowing. his ass a few times Bosch, man. Oh. Bosch <laughs> embarrassed this man uh and it's crazy <laughs> it this is i actually i have a theory that quartering's weakness is pedophiles but i won't really i don't want to <laughs> <sort of> fully form, <laughs> not a fully oh, no. formed opinion yet but uh yeah i i want to say about his alcoholism he is drunk in about half of his videos visibly drunk in about half of his Hell videos yes <laughs> respect go on yeah. he was drunk in the he was drunk in the pissing video but i think a he's lot, been drunk in a bunch of other videos too i've seen yeah a lot i mean you can i could probably pick a random you say that's alcoholism uh i say that's just kind of like a, a northern mis- mid- midwestern thing because like it was like if for the chapel heads out there when matt Crispin got blackout drunk on the election night thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Famously, it's like that. But he he's just doing that, and like to, he's to guys he's doing like it that, every day though. <laughs> he's doing yeah. it every day. <laughs> see, see. Okay, as as the local Midwesterner, you're really underestimating how how much the average Midwesterner drinks. That's what like, I was going to say. Just like yeah. Normal. yeah, listen, that's just like normal. You know what? My I spent <laughs> is I spent is time Midwestern with, in. Okay. I spent time with Juniper in person, and I've got to say. She can put them back. Uh, she, <laughs> you ain't gonna, yeah. you ain't gonna casually out drink juniper. You're gonna actually need to come prepared. <laughs> you gotta work. That. <laughs> yeah, that's what's my yeah. my ex is from the Midwest, and like there's drunk, like coastal drunk, and then there's fucking Midwestern drunk, and they are very different goddamn things. <laughs> so you, it's, yeah, that's so like, uh, that's we're, a stereotype we're on for the a side reason. that he may not have what what one might call a drinking problem. That he may just be vibing. <laughs> here, here, okay here's this what here's what cultural, i would call it yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's cultural that's that's kind of what i was going to go off of like he he's like an alcoholic outside of the midwest but in in the midwest he's just he's just hanging out he's just a dude and if this mm-hmm. and if this conversation was triggering to you please don't take any of us seriously 
Yeah, we're just yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh he's a big Elon dick rider too. Um <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's actually that, Oh my god. He's actually Oh no. He's Can he's I the, can I comment on something very quickly? Yeah, <laughs> please what, what always the, feel free to interrupt our stupid asses. The the the, the like merging or like the conglomeration of every type of guy into <laughs> one, you know? Like, I don't know why you can't just be an Elon Musk stan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, right. you have to be an Elon Musk stan and share all of these shitty opinions, you know? You yeah. have to be a crypto bro. I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you told me, told me that there was, like, court coin or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Do we, you know, I don't, I don't know, know his opinion. Yeah. I don't know his yeah. opinion on crypto. I know he was not. I very... know right now that there are like forty or fifty people that know this information in our Discord. And be like, you guys fucked up because you didn't get the the crypto part. I don't listen but to those yeah. people. I don't go on the Discord. I feel like I'm I'm going out <laughs> on a limb here. Ninety nine, because like I said, it's it the way that all of these types of guys have just become one asshole with a blue check next to their name. <laughs> yeah. Like it's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. And and maybe I have some insight as another fellow Midwesterner, but like this type of dude who who might drink a lot and has it like got divorced, lives in the Midwest. He's absolutely a crypto head, without a <laughs> doubt in my mind. Yeah. I don't need to see his opinions on it to know that he has he's Bitcoin got investment. Even if he only he's has like a Robin Hood account that he doesn't yeah. really talk about too much, like that's just yeah. something going on. It's on the it's on the down low, yeah. He is such like a he is such a a a a weak person in, in such a <laughs> profound way that you guys just saw me Google. He doesn't have any videos on crypto. When the vac mm. the anti vax stuff came up, he was like, you know, it's about freedom. Is the weakest mealy mouth take about like it's my hip Reddit right. take? It's like yeah. the top comment on a Reddit thread. Every, yeah, every and video. it's it's. It's so nasty because he doesn't believe in anything. And if you watch his content, he doesn't look happy. He doesn't. His enjoy belief this. is inertia. It's like the first thing that you can think of without any critical thought or self reflection is like his opinion. Unless a specific person is involved, um, not Elon Musk, <laughs> somebody else that we're going to talk about later. Uh, but yeah, for a while after Elon bought Twitter, quartering was like plugging his YouTube channel in replying every to him, single, asking Elon to subscribe. So pathetic. Every single Elon post. <laughs> In the replies. So Elon Musk just announced his next. Bi so he's replying to Elon Musk and tagged him. What a fucking bitch. So Elon <laughs> Musk just announced his next big purchase after a bizarre, desperate attempt to have FCC block his purchase of Twitter. That's not true. Elon tried to have the FCC <laughs> block his purchase of Twitter. What? This is the other thing. He says things that are just abjectly false that you can just like <laughs> listen to. And he's like, yeah, and a lot of people don't know this about Hitler, but he planted more trees in France than uh, anybody else. <laughs> and it's like, what? <laughs> How? What are you talking about? <laughs> and it's like Adolf Apple's seed over here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is kind of representative of what Bart was saying about like the conglomerate, like blue check mindset. Yeah, where it's like whatever, like whatever narrative like makes Elon sound better is like the narrative that it is. So it's like, it wasn't that Elon didn't want to buy Twitter and like tried to get the FCC to buy it. It's that they, the FCC was trying to stop him because he was going to bring too much freedom to the platform. You know, it's like that sort of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's fucking pathetic, bro. Like, oh, no, it's so yeah. pathetic. I agree. <laughs> the only I mean, time, hundred yeah, percent. The only time uh, Elon ever, and I'm pulling up the tweet now. I did. I should have had this in my. Um, I realized in my my docs. But the only time Elon, to my knowledge, ever even replied to him, um, when Elon was talking about how he bought Twitter and how it was free speech and all this bullshit, he said, "This is a battle for the future of civilization. If free speech is lost, even in America." Tyranny is all that lies ahead. And then the quartering responds, Elon, can you please, all caps, be more specific? Most of us understand the fight for free speech online and collusion duopoly that exists, but people need a more precise target. Would you be open to a 10-minute Zoom interview? I have 1.4 million subscribers <laughs> and fight for free speech too. And then Elon responds to him and says, I think I've been very specific. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who loves oh, who loves 
Sloppy oh, toppy more than Elon Musk. No one. And and <laughs> and the quartering was like Mr. Musk. I would I would suck on it so good. I'll work the balls. And, <laughs> and Musk was, was like, like, nah, dog. I got sloppy toppy at home. I don't need whatever you're yeah. right now. God, that is. Did you see um, that he also so when Elon announced that he was going to be stepping down and and um and hiring a new CEO? The quartering. This is I can't find the tweet. I think he deleted it in shame. But in, in earnest, the quartering respondent was like, I've run internet companies. I, I can do this. Let me be the CEO. He really wanted it. He <laughs> yes. really He's wanted run it. run internet companies? What does that mean? <laughs> well, oh, buddy, we're going to get to his, his he has a He has a drop a shipping company. That's basically the same. <laughs> uh, he's got more than that. <laughs> okay, so this is... Um, this is uh, just some bad takes of his as we start to uh, uh, kind of start to wind down and think about the end of our part one here because there's a lot more to say about Jeremy and um, it's been a you, downward spiral. Let me tell you, it, he's oh, he's yeah. really got a lot of issues. Um, so if you would like to hear um, what we continue to say at some point, this conversation is going to cut off. Um, but if you would like to hear the rest of it, you can go to patreon.com slash Western Kabuki and give us $5 to hear it. Um, just in case uh, uh, we have to cut now, Bart, do you want to plug anything? Um, uh, my partner is starting a blog soon. It's going to be called trans panic about uh, trans liberation um, with uh, focus on trans men. Um, oh, and, great. Uh, yeah. So I will check that out. Yeah. It's, it's not going to be out for a while. So people are going to be confused when they listen to this because they can't find the link, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it will be my, be in my bio, uh, next week or so. Cool. Uh, sounds good. Yeah. I, I would definitely love to check that out. Uh, that sounds really cool. I feel like, you know, cause I work as a teacher, so I work with like a lot of, uh, people in the general public and I just feel like I've only ever had trans male students for the most part and or trans man male who cares uh, I've had, only had trans boys um, for the most part I had like one trans girl and I and it, it is a part of the story that is getting really erased of like trans liberation so I think that's super important well I appreciate that yeah um, you can also check out uh, sorry I didn't say this beforehand Alex uh, my uh, stream on Saturday at noon Eastern time I will be opening some packs of Magic the Gathering cards including the collector's edition of the um, uh, 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 Lord of the Rings cards there is a non-zero chance that I pull the one ring I'm not really looking for that it's just going to be like a hang session but I uh I do hope you get that though. That would be oh wild. My fucking God. But I'm going to stream it. I'll record it. You guys can come on. I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel. I'm starting to do some like extra content on the side that I'm putting on a YouTube channel. I have a Patreon for $1 and $2 levels. Uh, so yeah, you can check that out as well. Okay. We're going to continue talking about the quartering and it's going to get a lot darker. Uh, <laughs> because <laughs> which shooter is this? That's the Chicago shooter, right? This is the, the Chicago shooter, yeah. Uh, was this the one that... Wait, I'm trying to remember which one the this parade was, one. which is a horrible thing to say. Parade, oh, that's just right. Just north of Chicago in the suburbs. Yes. Oh, my God. Was that almost a year ago already? Holy shit. Dear Lord. Yeah, July 4th, 2022, there was a July 4th parade, and this person put on a wig after shooting up the parade. And uh, a lot of people, including Jeremy... Uh, we're under the impression that, uh, and I'll quote Jeremy here, prediction, shooter will claim it's about Roe v. Wade. Media will bury the story right next to, to the Vegas shooting and Waukesha. This is, the le this is a leftist for sure. Wow, that's that's a crazy shot from the hip, you know. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. <laughs> Just Stop absolutely Tommy, no dude. evidence to, to, to support. Like that's that not even a prediction you need to make. Like who's like why who care like why is that also, a prediction that like, you need to make? <laughs> this one was a weird one too, because I remember that like we kind of knew who the shooter was right away and all of his social media stuff was still up. I remember when Kyle Rittenhouse, the Kyle Rittenhouse shooting happened. I was on Twitter that night and like I knew his full name and like address within like the hour of the shooting. And then like his Facebook account was gone by the morning. And this guy, his like SoundCloud was up and shit. And he was like talking about like 
it's like the fourth <laughs> Reich type of stuff. It is like SoundCloud raps. And like, I do want to point out, though, that uh, calling Stephen Paddock a leftist is fucking incredible. Uh, that is a... <laughs> Yeah, that's not a take I've heard about that situation before. Like, I, I, f- I feel like Stephen Paddock is like a really interesting uh, shooting just because the, the guy and like everyone in his life was kind of insane in so many different ways. I think uh, True Anon did like a really good series yes. talking about like Stephen Paddock. And I, like the dude is not a leftist uh, by like any means as far as I'm aware. <laughs> I want to shout out uh, Jinx here. Uh, if you know Jinx's edits... Um, oh yeah yeah his cracked out crazy edits um that <laughs> yep. is 100 percent of everything i know from steven paddock is from that like 90 second video <laughs> yeah i know i know exactly which one you're talking about yeah <laughs> iconic yeah so aside from saying that that shooter was a leftist um he also claimed that the Buffalo shooter was a leftist. Um, this is the uh, this is the guy who had the the swastika tattoo and like had posted about white power a bunch, and happened to be Latino. Okay. And then uh, objectively, was this one almost a year ago too? Yeah. Oh my god! <sighs> and uh, this was like a good Marxist. Ago, yeah. <laughs> yeah, every Marxist typically does have swastikas. That's that's pretty normal, I think. Mm-hmm. It's good praxis. Yes. Yeah. So true. So true. Uh, yeah. Vouch. This is the one where Vosh got like a good a good own on him. You can't let Vouch get one off on you. You really got to log out if that happens to you. <laughs> Just hit him with the clips of all the times he says it's okay to have child pornography, and then you're you're golden. Yeah. Not not a good look. Not a good look there. Hey, that's the end of our main feed episode this week. There is plenty more at patreon.com slash Weston Kabuki. There's more discussion of the quartering, including why he is banned from all Magic the Gathering events. And yeah, more Bart, more Caleb, more June, more Wack. So check us out. Patreon.com slash Weston Kabuki. Kabuki.